If you or anyone you know have ever had a dental cavity, you're familiar with the pain it can cause. You might also be surprised to learn that dental cavities are not just a result of eating sweets. My name is Dr. Elias Yonis and I'm a dentist and in this video I'll be explaining where do dental cavities actually come from. Cavities also are called dental decay or caries. It's a fancy way of kind of saying there's a hole in the tooth. For a cavity to form, there are four essential things that must happen. Number one, you must have a tooth. This sounds a bit silly, but if you had a tooth replacement, like a dental implant, they don't actually suffer from um, dental decay because they're not natural teeth. However, they do suffer from other problems. Point number two, you must have bacteria in your mouth. It's the bacteria in your mouth that feed on the sugars in your diet and produce the acid that dissolves your teeth. And this is how the cavity is formed. Number three, sugar. Most food has some form of sugar in it, even if you're eating pasta, bread, bananas, or even sweets. Sugar is part of our diet and fuels our body. However, the bacteria love sugar. So removing the sugar means that the bacteria are not fed and therefore are unable to make cavities. Number four, time. Dental cavities are a slow growing disease and it doesn't happen overnight. This means that the acid produced from the bacteria would have to be there for a long time to form a cavity. Did you know only when these four things happen at the same time does a cavity form? And this is why you can break the cycle. By brushing, flossing, and removing the bacteria and sugar from your teeth, preventing the bacteria from producing acid and dissolving your teeth, and therefore preventing decay from even happening. The other thing is time. So how often are you eating will affect how frequently you're really feeding the bacteria. My advice to all my patients is stick to main meals and only drink and snack on low or no sugar foods throughout the day. To conclude, Cavities take a long time to form and require four key parts. The tooth, the bacteria on the teeth, the sugar that the bacteria eat, and a lot of time. So by regularly brushing and flossing, we can reduce the time the bacteria and sugar sit on the teeth and therefore breaking the cycle and preventing tooth decay. If you've learned something from this video, like, share, and subscribe. My name's Dr. Ilias Yonis, and see you in the next one.